Hello fellow flashers. I'll be showing you in this lesson how to use ActionScript 3 to create a JavaScript pop-up button that'll open a, a JavaScript pop-up window in the browser with any uh, attributes and definitions you want set inside of it. And uh, so on the stage here I have a layer it's called pop-up button and there sits the pop-up button which I just created and it's inside of it you'll see it's just a regular button symbol that turns green on the overstate and I gave it an instance name of pop-up underscore btn and what we'll do is go ahead and code it out and I'll show you the code right now to where you won't have to place anything inside of the HTML page that holds the SWF file this can all be done right here in the uh, in the action script so let's open the actions panel by pressing F9 on the actions layer there and let's start coding it out first thing is we'll define the function that'll run when the buttons clicked we'll call it JS pop-up window so function JS pop-up window open parentheses type in event colon mouse event colon type the word void and open the curly brace and then press enter for line break and we're going to type in the uh, press enter again go down one more line type in the word var desired url now we're going to define our uh, the url that we want to pop up the html page that we want to pop up so type in url request equals new URL request. Then you open the parentheses, give it a quote, a double quote, and type in JavaScript, colon, new window, equals window.open. Window.open. And then, we're going to open another parentheses, and then give it a single quote, and inside of this single quote, we're going to type page.html, because that's the HTML page that I want to pop up. And to be, we said to be 400 pixels wide by 300 pixels high, the pop-up window. So let's close that single quotes and give it a comma. And we're going to make all the other, uh, place all of the other values and attributes here now. Well, first we're going to put our uh, ID for this. It's new. You can do whatever you want. I'm going to type in new win. And then comma. The width. I'm going to define to be 400 pixels wide. And then comma. Height. Is 300 pixels. And then we're going to make it open in the left uh, top corner. So we're going to type in the left equals zero. And comma equals zero and you can set other values for those numbers there and you'll see it places the pop up in different locations when it pops up and then we're going to knock out the toolbar by typing toolbar equals no and then let's also knock out the location sorry about that equals no and let's also knock out the scroll bars that would normally be on the side for scrolling equals no and the comma and the status equals no we'll knock that out show you how to knock that out and what else we show you how to knock out um Make it resizable or not. Resizable equals yes. We'll let them resize it. And then let's see what else. And allow full screen. And allow full screen equals no. So that gives you pretty good options in there. And then close up the single quotes there that we opened right here before width. See, I opened the single quotes and then end it because all of our attributes are now in. The window attributes. And then we close up the parentheses and then put a uh, semicolon. And then we type in new window focus parentheses and close parentheses and semicolon space void zero and put a semicolon close the double quotes that we started way back close the uh, parentheses and put a semicolon and now that's all coded out and then the next line we say navigate to url and this will set up for when the button gets pressed here say desired url we put our uh, a var right there that we just created and then we type in self right here, underscore self. That'll make it uh, actually blank, sorry. Define it as a pop-up. I think it could be self as well, and it would still pop up. So let's see. Then we close our uh, curly brace that we opened for the function. And now we're going to put the listener. Pop-up underscore VTN is our button on stage. Dot add event listener. Parentheses, mouse event. Dot click. Capitals, comma, and then JS pop up window is our function that we want to run on this listener. So, JS pop up window, and we close our, and put a semicolon. Yep. Yeah, now it's all closed up.
We got our listener pop up button. This is the instance name. That does it. Now we can take a look at it in the browser. And if you had the trouble getting at the code or seeing the code I typed in, you can go and uh, download the FLA file free from developphp.com. But uh, let's look at it in the browser here. And if I click the pop up button, there it is. So you see it's working. It shows all of our attributes nicely. It puts it in the top left corner. And that's it. We'll see you next lesson. Hey, you guys, just as a side note, I boo booed in my code, uh, which made things not work. I didn't have a space between my new and URL request, those two words, so I put the space and underscore blank needs to be self. I thought it could work with blank, but it must be self. So underscore self is the method, is the target, rather.